One of the greatest difficulties with climate change is that the effects of our emissions today are not actually realized in terms of the temperature for 30 to 40 years, so there's this time lag in the system. Which makes it difficult for us humans to respond because we're evolutionarily equipped to deal with very immediate threats like advancing armies or dangerous animals. We're not so well equipped with dealing rationally with very long-term problems like climate change. So we have to act now to stop something happening in the future. If we wait until the full temperature effects are already upon us, then it's far too late to stop. If you remember one single number above all else, make it two degrees. Now, everyone in the world, pretty much, the European Union, big multinational corporations, Greenpeace, political parties, all agree that we have to stabilise global temperatures within two degrees above pre-industrial levels. And the reason for that is because if you cross that threshold, then there are tipping points in the Earth's system which could drive the warming process essentially out of control. Huge amounts of carbon could be coming out of the world's trees and the soils. Methane could be coming out of the permafrost in Siberia. And it's that extra input of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere which then leads us up the worst case scenarios to six or more degrees and the eventual wipeout of most of life on Earth. So our emissions have been going up between, let's say, 1950 and now. They need to level out, stabilize, and then decline just as rapidly to sustainable levels about an 80% cut by 2050. But crucially, to keep the temperature rise within two degrees, this point of stabilization needs to be at around 2015. And so that means really the time timeline we've got, ticking clock, is that we have to stabilize global emissions within just seven years from now, as we speak, 2008. And the scale of this task to achieve a transformation to a low carbon economy for the entire entirety of human civilization is, is obviously it's a huge monumental task, probably the greatest that humanity's ever faced.